When dealing with a divorce case, chances are you're gonna have to figure out how to divide the debt. Whether it's a community debt needs to be divided equally, or whether it's a separate debt that needs to be assigned to one of the parties. In this video, we're gonna talk about just that. What is considered as community debt? What's considered as separate debt? And how the courts look at it as far as figuring out how to divide it or not at all and just assigning that debt to an individual. Hi, I'm Sina Mohajer. I'm a family law attorney practicing in the greater Los Angeles County since 2012. I've been a contributing member of the Los Angeles County Bar Association, and I've been rated by super lawyers since 2019. So what is community debt and what is separate debt? Well, you always wanna look at your benchmarks, date of marriage and date of separation. Anything acquired before the date of marriage is considered as your separate debt. The court's not gonna share that debt with anyone else and it's gonna be yours. Anything acquired after the date of separation, that's also a separate debt and that doesn't get divided. The only debt that does get divided is any debt that was acquired between the date of marriage and the date of separation. And there's many ways to divide the debt. You can either split it 50-50 or depending on the assets and who takes what, you can assign majority of the debt to one side or the other, so long as we have an equitable distribution of assets and debts. Now, if you've got questions about your case or about your divorce proceedings, feel free to contact us. I'll be happy to schedule an initial consultation. And if you like what you heard in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you wanna stay tuned and get notifications of future videos down the line, definitely hit that subscribe button as well.